Hey everybody, it's Doug Schauf with the Make Man Your Home team over at Remax Oceanside. Hey, in today's episode, we're gonna talk about Fort Williams right here in Cape Elizabeth. It's got the Portland headlight, Fort Williams. This is an awesome place, so let's do this. All right, everybody. Hey, like I said, we're going to talk about Fort Williams and the Portland headlight today. You know, one fun fact I've heard is I believe uh, the Portland headlight is the most photographed lighthouse in the world. I always think that's pretty cool. I like to plug that wherever we can. I'm going to jump right in with my trusty glasses. So that area there, Fort Williams, has been there and protected Portland for a very long time. You know, back in 1776, the Revolutionary War, there was a lot of soldiers, you know, posted right there in that Fort Williams area. So it was a very, very important uh, area to protect Maine and Portland and all that stuff. It wasn't until 1790 that uh, the lighthouse was constructed. And this is, this is interesting. You'll like some of these like dollar amounts. In uh, 1787 is when the General Court of Massachusetts Massachusetts provided $750 to begin the construction of the lighthouse. In 1790 is when the United States government took over the responsibility of the lighthouse and the Congress approved $1,500 uh, for its completion. So that's, that's pretty funny. The construction of the first keeper's quarters began in 1790 and uh, the first keep, keeper's house was erected in 1816. On Christmas Eve of 1886, this is a cool story. So a ship came in and crashed and it was the keeper, Joshua Strout, and his uh, son, his wife, and a lot of volunteers basically came in and like saved everybody. Captain O'Neill's the shipmaster, his wife, two mates, a nine-man crew, all brought into safety because of the keeper's uh, family. So that's a really cool story way back then. The current keeper's building was constructed in 1891. It's a two-story duplex, and that was there until 1989. It wasn't until 1990 that the property was leased to the town of Cape Elizabeth. And now it's the U.S. Coast Guard that maintains the actual light that's up there and the fog signal, uh, but the remaining property of Fort Williams is all maintained by the town of Cape Elizabeth. There's some great things there. There's like an award-winning museum, of course, the lighthouse there, which they only do, they only open up the lighthouse uh, one day a year. Being uh, somebody who lives here in Cape Elizabeth, I thought, I thought it'd give you like the hometown feel of what you should and shouldn't do. There's a little beach area there with like a playground and all that stuff. As soon as you drive in, it's one of the best views in Maine. I love it. There's, uh, you know, the old forts are there that you can kind of hike around and check out. There's what they call a cliff walk. It, it's like a trail that goes right down. Uh, great views of the water. It goes from like like the fort area all the way over to the Portland headlight. A lot of that is maintained by the Rotary Club, the Cape Elizabeth South Portland Rotary Club, which I'm involved in as well. The children's garden was designed and built and I believe maintained uh, with the help of the Rotary Club, the Cape Elizabeth South Portland Rotary Club, and also uh, Cape Elizabeth, the town. Uh, the children's garden is awesome. It's got this cool like granite slide for the kids, uh, like trails through the garden. Just a really awesome place to check out. There's also a great shelter there that you can rent out for like family gatherings and stuff. And all the while when you're at Fort Williams enjoying all this stuff, you got one of the best views in all of Maine looking out over the ocean, looking at the Portland headlight. Make sure when you're there, check it out. Take some pictures of yourself. Take a selfie. It's awesome. Show everybody that you've been there and talk about it. Come on and check it out. It's an awesome place. Highly recommend it. Anyway, if you've been there, which uh, chances are you probably have, give me some comments below. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know what your favorite things are. Um, oh, I almost forgot to mention that field in there. Uh, when you're first driving to Fort Williams in the winter, because if you watch this channel, you know that I love winter. There's lots of great sledding right there, cross-country skiing, and there's lots of great spots to ice skate all throughout Fort Williams in the winter too. So check that out. And remember, if you make me in your home, you don't have to do it alone.